Hey everybody, Fast Eddie back at you. Contractors Training Institute, Lead Renovator Training. Just to learn a little bit about a case that we've had going. I wanted you to know about some issues with contractors not doing it right. You can do this right, it isn't that hard. But we've got a case recently that we were involved in as inspector risk assessors for the state and we were looking at these homes. This house got a call, the homeowner wasn't happy with the work. There was an inspection risk assessment done, there were lead hazards left behind. These guys kind of made a mess. It was just a door install, just a front door. We're talking about a $300 door install plus the door. They charged $49 for lead safe work practices, which seems a little cheap. But they did the job and they did not work lead safe. They didn't do a good job installing the door. They made a mess of this homeowner's house. The homeowner got upset threw them off the job. Why? They were making a huge mess. There was no plastic put down. There was no tape. They didn't work wet. There was no HEPAVAC. The homeowner came and asked them, why are you making such a mess? They apologized, said, we'll clean it up. Both guys looked at each other and said, hey, did you bring the HEPAVAC? I didn't bring a vacuum. Nobody brought a vacuum to even clean up. One of the gentlemen went to his girlfriend's house, got a shop vac, brought it to the job, plugged it in, went to start cleaning up the front porch where all this mess was all over the front porch. The other contractor is wrap, wrapping tape backwards on his hand trying to pick up the paint chips out of the carpet. He turned on the HEPA vacuum while in the home. Everybody knows what happens now. The HEPA vacuum started blowing all the debris out the back exhaust. The young man panicked, took off his shirt, he must have been a little dyslexic. He thought the shirt said HEPA, and no, it said Hanes. He tried to block the exhaust and keep vacuuming. Well, that didn't work, so they shut it off. The two guys put their heads together and came up with a great plan. Let's put a garbage bag on top of the vacuum, tape it on top of the vacuum, turn it back on, so while the exhaust is blowing the debris out, it blows it right in a bag. Uh, sounds logical to me. Not. Turned it on, you know what happened. The vacuum bag exploded on top. The bag blows all the debris everywhere. Made an even bigger mess. The homeowner asked him to leave. The results of this, from this inspection risk assessment and finding the hazards left behind, ended up having a bill to this contractor to finish this job, properly install the door, fix and clean the entire house, was $18,864. That does not include the fines of the EPA coming down on this guy. It does not include the state coming down on him for not doing things properly. This turned into a mess. It doesn't need to be a mess. You can do this. A little plastic, a little tape, pre-clean that work area, work wet, HEPAVAC, wash it up, get trained, do it right. We can help you do that. We'll see you next time.